G'day folks, welcome back to this Report of Atlantic War. It's the end of the 14th of June, and this is where a lot of the activity has been all along this front here. Um, <laughs> really driving a, well, kind of across the peninsula in, in, in two ways, on the, out on the left and then out on the right here towards Sherbot. You can see the Americans are kind of inside this German defensive perimeter. Uh, when, we, when, I, when I played the fall of Sherbot, uh, scenario. This was quite a tough nut to crack, uh, but these big armored um, mechanized infantry units just burst through it. The, Ameri uh, the Germans were just sort of unprepared, and yeah, pushed through this first line of defenses. I think they're into some uh, yeah a village hex on the outskirts there, which gives them a bit of safety. Um, and the Germans really reeling and trying to recover. They've of course moved through um, Montebourg on the outskirts of Valence here, on the outskirts of Saint-Sauveur-le-Vicomte. Not much movement around here. The 82nd have been pretty, they were active, but uh, pretty quiet. The, sorry, this is the 90th division out here. They were pretty quiet. The 9th division here were very, very busy, um, but largely unsuccessful. Again, I spoke in the last video about how most Allied attacks fail. So roughly 80%, uh, I think, I'd estimate, of Allied combats fail. They favour the, the Germans. But they only need one or two attacks to go right. So they attacked all along this line, pretty much. 101st got involved as well. They had some horrific attacks. A lot of demoralisation amongst the 101st, which forced them to retreat. They were demoralised. But we got some critical successes right along this road to La Haye de Ponts, de Puits. De Puits? Yeah. Uh, I'd say one or two small combat. The difference between Woods and Bocage is m subtle but significant. Um, and it's, it's just enabled the American 9th Division to drive through and they have captured La Haye de Puits, thus kind of cutting the road. Um, and there's a lot of reduced Germans in this area, or two, two reduced battalions, but they're also quite stretched around here, and there's a yeah, that ninth Division is pretty fresh. So uh, a key ally driving a lot of artillery behind the lines, uh, helping out with that push as well. All quiet throughout here, but again, this is where the second big push is. It's hard to kind of see this because it's getting very close to the map edge. But this is where the 51st Division is driving through. Uh, so you can see they are on the outskirts, three hexes from uh, Cormont. Uh, they didn't really push towards Villas Bocage, but you can see they've just gained a couple of hexes in this area. They've been pushing throughout here, a couple of night attacks here, trying to eliminate some Germans, moderately successful, but they become disrupted in the process. So they just kind of stretch this line out. Um, and then the Germans... Because of this pressure out here, they've moved a lot of these forces out. Um, Panzerlier is shifting back out to the, the west, and the Germans are pulling away, voluntarily pulling away to condense their lines. You can see they've got two front lines here. This is the entrenched line, and this is where the front line has been. And, and very tough, but um, yeah, it's, it's been quiet out here, basically. The Germans voluntarily retreating. A lot of British reinforcements arriving. We've got the 49th Division. Uh, I mentioned this in the last video, the 11th Armoured. And then the, where the, we did have another armoured brigade. I think they've moved through somewhere. Uh, so yeah, look, the situation now is that the Allies control one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten objectives throughout Normandy. They need 14 to secure victory. And they're very close to at least, at least one, potentially Two with Sherbrooke, but so one, maybe two here is achievable. Three, and then four. If they capture those, one, two, sort of three, four, they they can't lose. Basically, they can only enhance their victory condition from sort of uh, sort of a minor victory up to a, a major victory, or whatever words they used. And look, the Germans, oh, actually, they did launch a counterattack down around Cherbourg. The Americans kind of advanced a bit too far. The Germans tried to counterattack. 
it was probably their best chance for a counterattack, and it failed. Um, lesson learned from the Germans, basically don't counterattack, just try and stay quiet and dig in. Um, there's just, there are so many allied forces, they're trying to push throughout the line. Uh, even with all these failed combats, they, uh, they only need, as I said, those one or two successes to kind of push through the lines to capture to, to advance their their position um the 101st incidentally just to give you a sense of replacements they're down to one replacement point that's how horrific their turn was so they were first to turn they were demoralized they rally they rally and then they take replacements after that but uh they haven't had much success they captured Carantan on the first day and then Oh, yeah, their, their combats since haven't been been good. I think a key factor is the fact that there are only six strength point units, which I think is interesting. I mean, they should be... I don't know why that is, um, considering most of the infantry, the non-parish um, infantry, are strength eight or strength nine for the British. These are the weakest, incidentally. The glider infantry is a bit stronger. But it just makes it harder to engage in combat with these guys. They tend to have sort of low overall strength. Um, whereas the British down here, they've got a lot. You can just see the armoured support. If you can see these stacks, a lot of armoured support throughout this area. Um, even though the Germans have decent anti-tank ratings, the British are almost always getting these armour shifts in combat. It's often just one or two, but it's enough to help them out. Um, They've got a lot of, I've got really clear regimental integrity throughout this division. I've really been focusing on that. Um, so, yeah, I'll report back soon.